guys, it's Annie. I'm here today with my Candy Panda order. I placed this order on June 18th and it is currently the 25th, I believe. And it got here today, so let's get into it. I only got four things, but two of those things are wax grab bags. So there's 10 scent shot here. Wax grab bag, I'm not starting with that. I'm gonna do that last, wax grab bag. The hand soap, oh, very different container than I've ever received. I love it. I really don't care what kind of container I get it in. Amazing. Um, so this is green agave flower and pear juice, and it is super sparkly and very pretty, bright green. It's going to my kitchen. I need one so bad. I love having candy panda hand soaps in every room in the house. Mmm, that smells so good. I love it. Really fresh and clean scent, which is exactly what I love in hand soaps. I don't really like sweet hand soaps. Okay. And then my hair detangler. This is a very different container than I've ever had hair detangler in too. This is Salty Sea Monster, which is their scent called Salty Hair, which is big shampoo from Lush and Sea Salt Blossom with added lavender and peppermint. I had that written down because I knew I wouldn't remember. And their hair detanglers are a necessity for me every single day. Um, or at least every single time I shower. Oh, it smells good. I was so nervous I wasn't going to like it because it's a necessity. And the, the one I have in my bathroom right now is so close to being empty. Like I probably have one or two uses left. So I'm so glad I like this scent or else I was going to be in trouble. Mm, yeah, I definitely get the like peppermint. It's kind of like a... Um, like a nose clearing peppermint but it smells really good i get like the i don't know like kind of a fresh clean aquatic scent too from the big shampoo and sea salt blossom so i'm glad i like that and then here's my two samples so what i'm thinking i'm gonna have to do is like get all of these out and then take a break and go ahead and use my labels to label all of them and then come back and tell you all what i got but let's just see if there's anything that's completely obvious like apricot mint linen and rosemary mint sp spritzer spritzer those both sound amazing so those are my two samples i'm gonna go ahead and figure everything out and then i'll be back all right i did not enjoy that but here everything is let's go ahead and start with the things that didn't have scent descriptions and i didn't sniff any of them i just labeled them so this is pacific northwest no scent description Smells really good and masculine. I like that one. Campfire. And hopefully I'll find some descriptions for these like on the Facebook group sometime. Some of them are self-explanatory. Whoops, my phone's telling me it's dying. That smells so good. That smells like um the campfire oil that Wolflix uses. Butter rum popcorn. Oh my god, exactly my type of scent. I've definitely had this oil and a bunch of other waxes before, and I always love it. Smoke Signal. No scent description for this one. Ooh, it smells like, um, it smells like pipe smoke and peppermint and vanilla be noel. This smells just like Frosty Paws from Wolf Licks to me. So I think I know what that one smells like, personally. This is Apricot Mint Linen, which is one of the samples. No description. But that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't smell a lot of mint. I just smell apricot and linen, which still smells pretty good. And then rosemary mint spritzer. I ended up getting one of them in my grab bag, and one of them was my sample. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Their garden mint fragrance is definitely in there, which is one of my favorite scents ever. So I love having two of those. I'm going to cut all of my scent shots in half. And for getting 22 scent shots, only having one repeat is really good. And so then here's all the ones that did have samples. Oh, I mean samples, did have descriptions, except for this one, A Breath of Fresh Air. Did not have a scent description. Um, oh, it smells familiar. It smells like a, like a Bath and Body Works type or something, but it's really like cloying and I don't really like it. It smells like the, another wax melt I've had from them, like Sparkling Snowflake or something like that which I think is possibly a Bath & Body Works type. Okay, and then we had Snow Bunny. 
This is Captain Crunch Berries Ice Cream Scoop Bread Marshmallow Cream Saltwater Taffy and Hint of Peppermint. And I just wrote these so sloppy because I was so not about it. Oh, no. I do not like that. I do not like Crunch Berries. And I can really get the hint of mint in there, which I, ugh, no. That one's going to be going away to somebody else. So I'm just going to put that over there. Okay, and then birch and black pepper. This is one I've been really wanting to try because I know a lot of vendors have this in blends. Um, it's oriental woody blend with cool spiciness, a Joe Malone dupe. Hmm, that smells pretty good. Yeah, definitely kind of earthy, but kind of sweet. Okay, and then we had Boo Berry, which is blueberry, strawberry, vanilla, sugary cereal. And don't mind my nails. I my old set did not want to come off. Hmm, that's not too bad. Blueberry, strawberry, vanilla, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and then we had blue slushy, which is candied, syrupy, blueberry slushy. Whoa, that smells like grape children's uh, ibuprofen or something like that. Like, definitely like a grape children's powder medicine. That is so weird. Okay, and then we have Black Diamond, which is a woody sandalwood, woody sandalwood, dark chocolate, and fizzy strawberry champagne. I don't know why I was talking so weird just then. Okay. Whoa, oh, that's so weird. I gotta pop it out to try and smell it better. That is weird. Strawberry champagne, dark chocolate, and sandalwood. Yeah, that's really what you smell, and it's like really strawberry-ish and really dark chocolate-ish. So weird. <laughs> and then we have Perfect Date, which is cracked. And it's the first one of these oval scent shots that I've ever gotten cracked. But we've been getting some really beat up packages here lately. So this is Aqua Di Gio. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that, but it's a um, cologne dupe that I actually really like. It's an aquatic aroma of bergamot neroli and tangerine musk um and it's it's one that i actually have the scent oil of that i use in my bath products but this has added mahogany lemongrass and basil which is what makes it the perfect date scent yeah this smells really good i'm pretty sure this is the same rosemary mint basil oil that i have in the hand soap that i have in my bathroom right now so it's just a combination of the two of those and it smells so good Okay, and then we had Spring and By Summer Fall, which is a really cool name. And this is Creamy Vanilla and Coconut with Strawberries, Jasmine, and Cedar Wood. So let's see how that smells. Hmm, it smells like strawberry. It kind of reminds me of some kind of like popsicle or some kind of treat from my childhood. And this one's like not filled all the way. I don't know if y'all can see that. And yeah, pretty good. I'll melt it. All of them so far, I will definitely melt except for this one. And maybe this one that smells like the ibuprofen or whatever, but Tylenol maybe, kids Tylenol. But I might melt it anyways, just to see. I'm gonna cut them all in half, like I said. Okay, Masterpiece. This is one that I've had before. It's baked apples and creme brulee. No, absolutely not. There, it's, there's just this one apple oil that I really cannot stand, and this has it. Um, I've had this before in a room refresh, and I, mm -mm, nope, I know I don't like it. Okay, so this is Mountain Guys, and weirdly enough, on the website, the, the scent was called Mountain Men, but in here it's Mountain Guys, so hopefully it's still exactly the same thing, but this was Coriander Mint Lift. I'm talking too fast, I cannot speak. Coriander, mint, leaf, amber, and a touch of vetiver. Oh, that smells so good. I love that. I think I'm mostly getting vetiver and a bit of coriander. I'm not getting a lot of amber or mint, but so good. Okay, and then this is one that I've actually wanted to try from them for a while. It's fresh blankets hung in a forest of cedarwood and juniper trees. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. And this one's a little bit low too. And I feel like the ones you get in the grab bags are ones that have kind of just been sitting around like whatever. And then the 
ones you get as samples are like the new ones. That's just what I think. I don't know if that's actually true. Okay, and then we got buttermint, which is another scent I wanted to try from them. This is buttery peppermint candies that melt on your tongue. Oh my god, it's delicious. It's so strong. It makes me want some like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Okay, and then we have lemon pound cake which is buttery pound cake laced with fresh grated lemon zest and drizzled with sugary icing. I think it's so weird that they said laced with fresh lemon. Like that just sounds weird. Mm, it's kind of a cleaner lemon scent. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. I definitely think the Burning Mitten has way better scents, but I think they use lemon curd in theirs, which is what I really like. Okay, and then Midnight Snack, we're almost done. Midnight snack is chocolate chip cookies and a tall glass of milk. This is one that I actually have heard people rave about a couple times. Oh, it kind of smells like there's sugar milk in there, like a sugar milk and chocolate scent. I actually like it. It's kind of, it's not like the most realistic chocolate, but I mean, I don't really hate that. And then this one, I'm so glad to have because I tried to buy the cake of it, this last restock, whenever I got Whenever I got all this, I tried to get the wax cake of this and it sold out so fast I couldn't get it. But this is tomato leaf, wild herbs, and moist garden soil. Oh my God. Yeah, so I thought this might be the same as, um, as the Burning Mittens Dirty Hoe, which has basically the same descriptions, tomato leaf, herbs, and uh, dirt. But this one definitely smells more like the tomato vine, whereas the other one smelled more like the dirt. Absolutely amazing. So, so strong. And you almost smell a little bit of the tomato itself, not just the tomato leaf. But I love that. I wish I could have gotten the cake of it. But at least I have this. And I can melt it twice. Okay, so I did not like these two out of 22. There's only two that I'm definitely giving away. So that's pretty awesome for me because I feel like I'm a bit picky, but I'm really trying to not let the names of things throw me off. Like apricot, I, that's not something I thought I would like, but I was just like, you know what? I'm probably going to like it. And so I liked it, you know? I try not to have like a predisposed thing about certain scents just because I haven't liked them in the past. I'm like, you know what? Maybe they'll work this time for me. So there is my full haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck this out. Um, follow me on Instagram at Bumblebee Baths. Have a good day, guys.